Hey, good afternoon, guys. Um, something special here today for regarding protest number 56 of this current season. The incident happened in the production Charlotte Car Challenge on lap 9 for between those two MX5. So today I'm just uh, sharing the steward stats and why we have decided to uh, give the uh, penalty we gave to this driver. So first, first incident happens um, on corner one, so T1, at some point on lap nine. So we will see what uh, what happens here. So we have a case of of blocking. Um, so normally, what we define as blocking in uh, PRL is when a driver uh, reacts to. Uh, driver uh, at the back so the exact words are the following so um, any deviation by a driver from the racing line <clears throat> uh, uh, that is a reaction to a move from the trailing driver which impedes the trailing driver forwards progress is not permitted at any time so in this situation we have and from the cockpit view I, I believe it's is a better uh, is a better perspective. So we have a battle here. The trailing driver makes a move to the right, and then um, the car in front moves to the right as well. And then we have to move to the racing line, the uh, racing line back again. So of course, this kind of move is defined as blocking. We are most of the time the drivers are getting away with warnings uh, when it's when there's no uh, obvious consequences which is uh, what happens in this case so not something we're looking for what we should expect from somebody that wants to defend his position the mx5 so the car in front move could move slightly to the right blocking or at least defending his position in a predictable manner <coughs> and uh and then allowing the car at the back to, to, to take a decision. So instead of uh, swerving or not swerving, but moving uh, in reaction to the car at the back, right? So in real time, it looks like this. So a bit uh, a bit unpredictable. The next incident happens in the next straight. Um, <clears throat> so at first, we as stewards, we didn't know what uh, what was uh, going on with the car in front? I did speak to uh, to the driver, but um, so in so as you can see, the the car at the front is is swerving, so moving to the left, to the right, not exactly uh, a predictable manner to to drive. Uh, so moving to the right, right, left. So at this point for the car in the back, it's pretty hard to know. Is it is it defensive? Is it uh, what's what's going on essentially? So of course, um, this kind of behavior, let's say at the at the end of the race, showboating that you're going you're going to win, just like let's say Verstappen is doing or other professional drivers are doing in the real world, it's totally fine. You. You are celebrating. Uh, this race is only nine laps in, over 25, I believe. So there's no, there's no celebration here, and especially from the the car, uh, car at the back perspective. See the car in front uh, moving left and right. It kind of makes it very unpredictable for a following pass. So you're you're not sure what's going on here. Um, so that's one thing. Secondly. Um, at PRL, we want we want drivers to treat this league as if as if we were racing for real. So that's not something you would do for uh, in, in real life for sure. Since uh, you could destroy your car, you could destroy your tires, uh, you could make a mistake, uh, and. So you, you would never never do something like that unless for celebrating at the end of the race. And, and lastly, on the broadcast, it, it does look a, a little bit silly, to be honest. And that's not something we want. 
Um, so for those three uh, main reasons, um, we have decided to suspend this driver for only one race. Uh, I did had the chance to, to talk to him. I did understand why he was doing it. Uh, but however, that's not something we are... Um, <clears throat> Uh, we are accepting in this league for as for behavior for drivers. So to wrap this up, one up, uh, the suspension itself is not for the blocking part, but is mostly for for this. Uh, that's not something we, we are tolerating at PRL for the reasons I listed, and that's why uh, we took the decision to suspend. Um, I hope this clears uh, things up, and uh, hope to see you on the track and especially next season. All right, see you boys.